Hey guys, Dr. Deucey here, mtfucoach.com. Just uh, looking through Arnold's uh, seminal bodybuilding book, the Encyclopedia of Modern Bodybuilding. It's one of the newer editions. The book is so heavy that you can get a pump lift in it almost. And I gotta tell you, if you followed everything Arnold wrote in here, you'd probably get injured somehow. <laughs> because back in the 60s and 70s, Listen, the workouts were marathons, four hours, six hours a day. And listen, most of us aren't Arnold, so we, you know, there's other factors involved, but just not, they didn't know what we know now, and there's probably a lot more efficiency now and a more effectiveness, and you know, the science is a little better. Uh, and you know, Arnold, if you train now, full tilt, he might have even been better, who knows. But there's one premise in here I want to talk about. They're called 21s. Uh, a lot of you, it's an old school exercise, a lot of you guys are probably familiar with them. Uh, and they're still usable today and the thing is most of the time 21s are used for biceps they could also be used for pecs, uh, deltoids, back, even legs uh, the whole premise behind them and it's all about time under tension uh, increasing metabolic cost via that and because of that uh, instigating more hypertrophy or growth in the muscle cells you want to increase the surface of the muscle cells so they could do more work and you get bigger and it's all about time under tension and challenging that muscle I'm going to demonstrate a set of 21s with a plate curl because right now I only really have a plate here. I have dumbbells, but for the sake of completeness in both arms, we're going to try a plate. So again, when you're doing 21s, you're going to go through the range uh, starting with a half curl from the bottom, which looks like seven like so. So I'm just going to go through these. Okay, you're going to go halfway up. Okay, and the muscle's totally elongated. I want to talk about that in that when the muscle's totally elongated, uh, it's, not as, it's not at its strongest. Okay, so it's five, six, seven, and then you're going to come up all the way up and come halfway down. When the muscle's fully contracted, it's not at its strongest. So we're going seven like this, four, five, six, seven. You get a tremendous pump. Then full reps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. The reason I mention the lengths of the muscle is that the muscle, the bicep in particular, is most challenged when the forearm is at 90 degrees to the humerus. Okay, so when you're all the way down like so, not as challenged when you're all the way up like so, now this challenge. When, in fact, when you see a guy curling, where's he going to relax? At the bottom or at the top? Never going to relax right here. Okay, so when you're going through the 21s, these days sometimes it's prudent to take a pause at the midpoint and just hold it because that's where the bicep is most challenged and you're really going to flush the blood in there. So really the 21s, a lot of literature tells you to do them at the end of your workout to really pump the blood in there. I mix it up. I go with what works, what feels best. And just as a little point of fact here, to even hit the top phase like so and challenge the bicep, because if you're standing up like this, you're not really doing so, you can lean over, put the bicep like this, and look where we are. We're hitting the top part of the bicep, but we're also at 90 degrees. So by leaning over, you could also challenge the bicep just like so while incorporating the 21s. Try those, man. I mean, I'm really pumped just from that. Today was a high carb day. I got like 400 grams of carbs. So I'm feeling kind of saucy in that way. Uh, but in any event, your thoughts, questions, considerations, and statements, libel always is welcome and included. You can put it down here. Give me a thumbs up if you think it's deserved. And I'm, I'm feeling pretty good. It's, it's starting to come along. I mean, trying to impress myself at least to keep myself going because we all got to have some kind of kick. But you have a great night, and I'll talk to you tomorrow. Thanks.